we can start the international press conference. Uh, the girls have just got the most interesting reading for today, the result list. And Magdalena, how is it to see your name on top again? It's great. It's great, especially in the beginning of the season. It's new for me and yeah, it gives me a lot of self-confidence and it's great. Have you been involved in such a tight finish before like this? <laughs> yeah, it was a déjà vu. <laughs> I thought about um, the World Championships 2008 in Östersund. I had a fight with, with Tora and today I, I thought uh, she gets a revanche, but I was the lucky one and <laughs> it's great for me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't have to be that sport. Um, were you on the limit all the way on the last lap? There was nothing more to get somewhere. Yeah, I have to fight, and you you don't you can't think a lot, but um, yeah, there are small um, things about this, and yeah, I think it was I was fighting and it was very um, hard, but I was the lucky one. Is your standing shooting better this year than before? Um, I think it was um, was better last year too. And when I think about the World Championships in, in Hanti Mansiska, I think it was very, very good and sh um, yeah, sure. And yeah, it was very difficult today. It was a lot of wind and I was fighting and this um, was good today. And I hope it, it, I can um, do it again. Take us through your last shooting. What was going through your mind when you came in and it was quite windy there? It was really windy and I was waiting and waiting and it was a long time at the shooting range. But I have to wait. I have no other chance. And I think uh, it was the right, um, the right thing to do. I have only missed one mistake and I think today it was really good. Did you have this patience to wait like uh, three, four years ago? I don't know. I think I was young and I was <laughs> um, to be, uh, uh, I thought I have to be very fast at the shooting range too. And now I'm a little bit more calm and concentrated and I grew up. You, are <laughs> you grew up, yeah. <laughs> You're already uh, leading the World Cup. Are you going to destroy the excitement now? Are you going to take a clear lead or you think these girls can hang on for a long while? <laughs> I think it's a long season, and yeah, it's great to be uh, to have the yellow bib this time, and we will see. Let's surprise. What you're gonna do now after Östersund before you go to the next to Hofilsen? Um, I go home for only one day. Um, I don't know. I go to the frisur. I don't know in English, um, <laughs> and um, yeah, I enjoy. Um, a half day at home, and then I go um, to Hofitzen at Tuesday. Last question, what about the tactics tomorrow? I don't know. <laughs> we will see. I think um, it's good to have a lot uh, um, um, girls to see at the uh, loop. I'm not only uh, alone in the front, and we will see. Uh, we have to, to do four shootings, and I think it will be interesting. Tora Berger, you did exactly like the Norwegian men. You went from uh, the dark hole to the podium because in Norway it's not good enough to be number 29. Or <laughs> yes, uh, it was not so good uh, start on Tuesday, but uh, today I think I was a little bit more relaxed before the start and I was doing uh, what I should do in special in the shooting range. So, yes, I hope I will... Uh, do the same tomorrow. <laughs> did you start to think after the 15 kilometer that if you did something wrong with the training or did you believe in yourself all the way till today? Uh, I, I'm, uh, I'm not sure but I was thinking that I was going really well uh, two weeks ago in the cross country so I wasn't so scared to do uh, that I have to do something wrong but uh, yes normally I start very bad and then uh, it's get better. <laughs> are you very satisfied with second place or are you only angry that she beat you with so little? <laughs> I'm really satisfied, uh, especially after the Tuesdays in Dudu. And I have to ask you about the tactic tomorrow too. You are usually very good when you fight side by side like this. <laughs> 
yes, it's going to be a really good race. Um, yes, I think maybe I should. Yes, I think Magdalena can uh, go first and then I, I can go behind her. <laughs> we will see. <laughs> Okay, we will see you tomorrow. Uh, Kaisa, with a well uh, familiar whiskey voice of Northern Karelia. <laughs> <laughs> you have had a little uh, cold before this race, but your physical shape looks to be very good anyway. Yeah, uh, I was uh, before IBU Cup, I was sick. Uh, like uh, I didn't have my voice almost in two weeks and I couldn't race in Conte or Lahti, and that's why I came to IBU Cup to see that how is my shape. And uh, it was luckily pretty good. And um, and yes, still I feel healthy, but I just have this whiskey voice. Sorry <laughs> about that. <laughs> you missed two in the prom, they missed one in the sh uh, standing. Can you explain that? Was it more difficult conditions when you were shooting the first shooting? or? <clears throat> I had a really much difficulties in zeroing. I think that I shot... Usually I shoot 15 or 20 shots in zeroing prone. Today I shot maybe 50 because <laughs> not so many bullets were in the target. And when I came to the prone, it was uh, not wind at all, but I was so confused about the zeroing and the conditions there. So I couldn't uh, do any corrections. I only hope that I can hit the targets, but I missed two. So it was your own fault, it wasn't the yeah. win really. <laughs> yeah, I think so. But uh, zero in the standing, that was impressive in these conditions. Yeah, I was lucky. I felt that it was uh, windy also in standing, but uh, I took it pretty uh, slow. I think that my shooting was slow today, but, uh, but uh, many athletes had the same problem because of the wind. But I was happy after the zero. And on the last lap, you took suddenly 10 seconds out of Tora very quickly, but then you lost a couple of seconds. Did you start too hard on the last lap? Yeah, I st started for the last lap just behind Magdalena, and I tried to catch her first, and then uh, it gave me a really good start for the last lap, and I think that I was a little bit tired in the end. But fourth and third is going the right way. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, are there any open questions to the three girls? Otherwise, they will probably stay a few minutes here before they leave, but uh, not too long. So if you have any other questions, they will be around for a little while. Thank you, and congratulations, and good luck tomorrow.